Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. This one's going out to all of you deep cave base uh, rust electricians out there who have been waiting for the opportunity to use electricity in your cave base. If you've paid attention to any of my previous videos, you saw a demonstration where there is one cave. Uh, you all have a name for it, I forgot what it's called. There's a, a one particular cave that is shallow enough that you could run a wire down to so you could have surface power that you ran down into the cave base but the other caves you could not get power into but that is no longer true now that we have the generator the small generator available so i actually had this question directly from users lock to lock or pick uh, whatever that's uh, i'm just going to call you is lock um, he's a deep cave baser was looking for a solution whereby you can get eight hours of runtime uh, so that you can be offline that will power your uh, turrets or other electricity in your base I assume he was going for turrets and uh, of course you need to charge your batteries just with generators so I've come up with a circuit two versions a maximum output power and a balanced output that's more efficient and I'm going to go ahead and show you the max power output system first, and then I'll show you how the balanced is just slightly different in settings, actually just one setting, and it changes the performance and how you play. So let's take a look at the max power diagram first. It's going to start out here uh, with three minutes on the battery just for demonstration purposes, and I put a minute of fuel into each of the generators. Now what you have here is a system, in order to get eight hours of runtime, it uses one large battery that can give you four hours, up to four hours total, and two independent generator systems, Gen 1 system and Gen 2 system. Uh, if you're playing on a server that has stock settings or vanilla, at least not modified generator settings, they hold 500 low grade, they burn 250 per hour, so you get two hours of runtime off of each of these generator systems, okay? So there's your eight hours, four on battery, two on system one, two more hours on system two. And as a bonus, I'll actually show you that you do get a little bit of extra runtime uh, because it charges the battery while the generators are running with their extra power. So the maximum output system uses 81 units. The reason it uses 81 units is because with the um, electronics, the logic needed to trigger the generator systems, I can only pull off 81 units of power, usable power, from this large battery that puts out 100, okay? So we're limited to 81 units. Now here I've got it running six uh, fully powered turrets at 11 units each with like nine units left over. So if you wanted to have um, like a notification circuit that uses a few units of power to send you a page. Uh, maybe when your last turret's out of ammo or when your first turret uh, targets a person coming into your base. Maybe it's just out in front of your, your base. Um, this is the maximum power output. Now the downside of this is that it means there's not a lot of power left over from the generators to charge the battery. So generator efficiency is really low on this one. Whoops. Move that. Okay. So you can see Gen 1 is 1.2. Gen 2 has a little bit higher efficiency because it doesn't have the extra suppression logic that keeps uh, System 2 offline while System 1 is running. Uh, that's important to note because when you're charging your battery, you always want to charge your battery while you're online now. When you're online playing, you want to charge your battery from System 2 only. Put fuel in System 2 only while you're online and keep it full. When you go offline, fill both systems full of fuel and make sure your battery is as high as you can get it. Hopefully it's up to four hours before you go offline. Now at max power, because of the low efficiency, it actually takes almost 21 hours <laughs> to charge this up to four hours of battery time. Uh, which means if you get your full uh, cycle here of 21 hours of charging, and a little over eight hours of offline time, it's actually a 20, little over 29 hour play cycle. Now, I don't know how many of you don't care about your circadian rhythm or sleep or playing normal hours. If you wanna play 
uh, 21 hours on and then eight and a half hours off and 21 on eight and a half off um, you know God bless you go for it <laughs> uh, you could do that uh, but um, this is the the cycle this is the interval you'll need if you want to get maximum output uh, this does burn 18 and a half thousand units of low-grade fuel in that 29 plus hour cycle 29 and a half fish hour cycle so you better have access to a lot of low grade uh, but if you're playing 21 hours a day I imagine you can find yourself 18,000 in low grade especially if you found all these components <laughs> so for the rest of you people out there I'll show you a variation of this that that's based on a 24 hour cycle that's a little bit more reasonable uh, this is running right now. It ju just tripped over to system one. System one ran out of fuel. It went back to battery for a few moments because the battery had recharged. And now it's tripping over to generator system two. I only put a minute of fuel in each of these, so they're not running very long and they're not uh, charging the battery very much. But you can see while generator system two is running, it's providing our full 81 units of power because this right here is set to 82. And there's 24 units left over, which is adding, slowly adding power to the battery. Um, so over a two hour fuel period, it'll actually add 23 minutes to this battery. So there you go. Let me show you the variation. I called this variation balanced. I don't know why, just because the balanced configuration also gets you eight hours or uh, eight and a half hours it actually gets you 9.1 hours because it gets better charging efficiency you can see we have 0.24 and 0.31 as the charging efficiency on the generator systems it only outputs 66 units of power uh, when you're running on the generators you get 80 wood while you're on battery but only 66 while you're on uh, generators so maybe run the use the extra for your lights while you're online and then while you're offline you don't care if it cuts out your lights just put them at the end of the circuit um, same oops move that same situation here um, there's nothing different about this setup at all there's one configuration change this branch is set to 67 it loses one through the or switch which we uh, leave 66 total coming out so that's the difference and you can change this up or down the lower this number the faster you're going to be able to charge your batteries because you'll have more uh, efficiency in your charging um, it also means you'll get slightly better uh, runtime offline so the lower you make this the more this nine hours goes up um, but the less total power that you get to work with so that's your trade-off. You have to make a decision whether you want efficiency or maximum power. Uh, in this balanced configuration, I set it up on a 24-hour cycle where you get 9.1 of offline, um, and then you get, uh, it only takes 13 hours to charge the battery. So uh, assuming you have something else that happens the other three hours, like, I don't know, taking a shower or eating or something like that where you're not playing, um, and don't and can't refuel your generators uh, this is a little bit more balanced configuration uh, it gets you nine hours of runtime you have to be online for at least the last 13 hours leading up to when you go offline so that your battery is fully charged um, in a 24-hour cycle it would actually require the four hours of generator time while you're offline as well as 14.8 um, of generator time while you're online so if you're playing a maximum 24-hour cycle uh, because it charges more efficiently and you get more out of the battery it only consumes 14,000 in low grade so just a little bit less um, but that's still a lot so I hope you have good sources for low grade so this is the configuration for the more sane of you out there who just need not nine, eight nine hours offline and can play for over 12 hours a day to get your battery charged up before you go offline again always use fuel in gen system number two to charge your battery only fuel gen system number one uh, when you go offline fuel both of them up well 
I'll tell you what. It's possible. Deep cave base power is now possible. It's not cheap. Uh, some of these components are hard to come by and expensive, and certainly 14 to 16,000 in low grade every day is going to be expensive to come by. Uh, but it is certainly possible now. So there you have it. Good luck out there, and don't suck.